Welcome back, everybody, to 25 News Now. Well, we had all kinds of interesting stuff happen in the weather last night as that strong polar front rolled through the state. Not only did we have a wind shift here, but uh, areas from the hill country up through Waco and Dallas had significant uh, hail last night. In fact, there's photographs of, of hail two inches wide uh, pounding parts of Dallas. Now, today, well, it looked pretty good there for a while. Let's go live and see what's going on in Cuero. And you can see how they we do still have a little bit of high-level cloud cover in our area, or mid-level cloud cover. We are looking at, uh, of course, a little bit of sunshine, and that sort of helped. But the cold north wind is uh, was a big deal, wouldn't you say? We're looking at a high temperature of only in the 50s today. Northerly winds at 18 miles an hour and still gusting up to about 30 this afternoon. But the dew point is down, and that's because of that north wind, which is much drier. Temperatures around the region, as you can see right now, basically in the upper 50s. Now, how long ago were we in the 80s? Uh, three, two days ago? It's like, yeah, it's a couple of days ago. We were sweating, and uh, now all of a sudden it's cold. So you're going to reach for the, gra the jacket for tonight because that north wind continues to blow, as you can see right here. And it's the blowing wind that actually makes it feel more uncomfortable. Gusting winds right now up to 25 miles an hour, and that's going to be the story through the night. So as we descend down into the 40s tonight, you just got to bundle up, as they say, as before you head out. Now, around the state, you'll notice that the differential between our temperatures and theirs are finally mitigated because, what, we're all under the same air mass. The cold weather in, in North Texas is now down into our area. That infernal system went all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, however... It may look nice out there today, but we still have a few sprinkles coming at us from the southwest. Now, that's kind of what we're looking for for the weekend, clouds and a few sprinkles. I don't want you to get worried that we're going to be getting some significant big thunderstorms like last night. Well, there's the old front. It's out in the Gulf all the way down into northern Mexico. But that area of low pressure out over El Paso, that's the one that's going to give us... Well, maybe not so nice a weekend. It's going to give us cloud deck. You see the clouds rolling into our area? Yep, that's today. And then it's also going to give us some of that light rain activity that we expect over our region as well. When is that? That's Saturday and Sunday, and Future Tracker will break it down for you. We start Friday afternoon. Not bad. Clear. Then Saturday morning early, we start picking up light rain activity coming at us from the southwest. And then Saturday, we're going to have periods of clouds and a few sprinkles here. Now, I wouldn't call it significant, violent weather or anything like that to worry about. But what happened to that big snowstorm that we were expecting in West Texas and the Hill Country? Well, it's not really going to be that big a big storm. There was snow in the higher elevations of the Big Bend. Uh, there might be a flurry or two around areas um, in the Hill Country, but it's really not going to be anything to write home about as, uh, as we expected yesterday. Boaters, it's not really worth going out there because uh, we're looking at northwest winds at 20 to 30 knots. So um, seas are high at uh, 6 to 8 feet, even some 10-foot breakers. And then we're looking at rough uh, bay waters as well. So do be cautious and probably stay in. It's not going to be a good weekend for boaters. So tomorrow, Saturday, a 50% chance of light rain. Now, it's not going to be a deluge, but it will be sort of sloppy and soggy with a high of only 55. Then 58 on Sunday, and we don't really start warming back to the 80s until about Wednesday of next week. I want to remind everybody that we want you to go scan that QR code. You scan that with your phone. You just take a picture of it, and it'll download Crossroads today right onto the top of your cell phone. And you can take your news, weather, and sports with you wherever you want to go, whenever you need it. And we are live at um, the Affectionate Arms out here on John Stockbroker. And so we uh, will toss it back to the studio and you guys.